Well, and I'm joined now by Mike Mata with the Dallas Police Association. And as we've heard, the suspect out of jail within 24 hours of being arrested in connection to the death of Corporal Givens. And that has some people very upset this morning. So his bond was set at $75,000, which means he had to pay about $7,500 to get out. We're talking about 10% of that 75,000. So obviously this morning you and I were just speaking and you said that you were stunned. I was stunned. You know, um, the message that it sends, the rank and file and every officer from Grand Prairie all the way to Mesquite in Dallas County is that's what your life is worth. That's what your life is worth as an officer here in Dallas County, $7,600 in 24 hours in jail. And I think what people at home should understand too is that these are guidelines based on the specific um, charges. Correct, and they're just guidelines. A magistrate or a judge can always go outside of those guidelines if they see that there's specific reasons, the totality of the circumstances. And that's what I want the public to understand. This isn't a vehicle accident. You know, although it was one vehicle hit another vehicle, this was an intentional act. You know, Mr. Breedlove knew he was drinking. He knew he was intoxicated. He intentionally and only got behind the wheel of a motor vehicle, which caused the death of this officer. And so that's what officers want. They just want a little accountability to show that our worth is more than $7,600 in 24 hours in jail. Well, you mentioned worth. Is, is that what people feel like, or at least people in law enforcement and those around them feel like um, that $7,600 shows? That how little they are worth. Exactly. You know, it's very hard to get people to even be police officers anymore. And this is what the public, uh, you know, this is what the public, their police officers that take care of them every day are seeing that Dallas County views them as a worth of $7,600. And obviously he's bonded out. Um, this cannot be changed at this point. What would you like to see happen moving forward? Well, the, D, the DA uh, can ask a, a district judge to increase the bail. Um, I just think we need to look at these at these bail guidelines and you know I'm just asking ask the public how would you feel if it was your husband your wife your child would seventy six hundred dollars appease you and I would bet they would say no. Mr. Mata thanks for coming on today we appreciate um, your opinion your um, of course interest and in our thoughts and prayers are with everyone with the Dallas Police Department thank you for being here today. Thank you very much.